If you use Zwift and you like riding around Watopia, then you'll probably be interested to know that as of today, there's a new road available on version 1.51 of the game, which is rolling out over the next couple of days. Here's what Zwift says about this new road. Like a new road into a previously hard to reach part of a national park, the new coastal causeway will enable cyclists to enjoy natural and cultural wonders of Watopia that have been completely unreachable by bike until now. I like the suggestion here that all this stuff was already there and they just had to build a road to it that they hadn't previously done. But anyway, the southern coast contains some of the most lush and diverse parts of Watopia and offers some of the most stunning views on the whole island. The new road will take cyclists to never before locales and settlements that are excited to welcome cyclists, share their unique character and are sure to become a favourite destination for all riders. So what is this new road? Well, this new road is a link road that goes from the Fuego Flats, from the turnaround at the end of that, to the Mayan Jungle at the very bottom. And it is quite a big expansion, so it's 19 kilometres of new roads, and also it makes the map a little bit more accessible in terms of getting from one part of it to another. Here's a little bit more information about what you'll see along the road from their press release. Cyclists will access one end of the southern coast road from the Fuego Flats. Riding southwest, cyclists will first see the maritime village of fishing village, sorry, of Googie Springs. Stop off at Cranky's Crab Shack. From there, cyclists will ride through the Evergreen Coast, a dense forest abutting a rocky coast that's foreboding to mariners. they will be shipwrecks, but welcomes cyclists with inviting roadside attractions and reclusive yet friendly wildlife if those aren't mutually opposing goals. Further along the road you'll find the remote settlement of Ciudad La Cumbre, a colourful community built at the foot of the Epic KOM and accessible only via tunnels on both sides. Taking a view of the Epic KOM from Ciudad's central plaza. Further down the road cyclists will reach the settlement of Sandy Coast, a vibrant Mayan community that rises from the steamy jungles of Watopia. Finally, cyclists will reach the Mayan Passage, which links the southern coast to the Mayan jungle at the new road's southwestern end. So that's the new road, and for launch there are eight new routes. Let's just roll through them and I'll tell you what they entail. Shortest of the lot is Temple Trek at 6.5k, and that really is just a way to find the new road, so drop down to the Mayan jungle and head out along the coast. And then there's Going Coastal, which is pretty much the same thing except for the Fuego Flats end. So roll through the flats, head out along the coast road to about the middle. And then next up is Canopies and Coastlines, which again is the same kind of thing, uh, this time starting from Titan's Grove. So you roll through Titan's Grove and then out along the coast road, almost as far as the Mine Jungle. Sugar Cookie is the first loop and that starts at the top of the descent into the Mine Jungle. Then you go around the coast, out to the turnaround at the end of Fuego Flats and then up the start of the Epic KOM but then you cut across on that little connecting road between the two bridges and head back to the Mayan jungle. Then you've got Coast Crusher which is effectively an out and back along the coast. So again start at the top of the Mayan jungle, drop down along the coast to the turnaround in Fuego Flats and then turn around and head back. Accelerate to Elevate is one that looks good if you're attempting a good time up the um, Alpe de Zwift. It's basically 30k of mostly flat roads to give you a warm up. So you start at the Fuego Flats, uh, out along the coast road, and then you're into the Mayan jungle, turn off at the Alps Zwift, and head off up the Alp. The big ring is a bigger loop that goes the opposite way to the sugar cookie. So you start in the Fuego Flats, out along the coast road, through the Mayan jungle, and then out around the volcano, back to where you started. And the longest route at the moment involving the new coast road is Shorelines and Summits, which is about 50k with the lead in. So through the Mayan jungle along the coast road out to Fuego Flats, it's effectively the same as the sugar cookie until you get to the Epic KOM and instead of going across the connecting road, you go up the Epic KOM all the way to the radio tower, back down the other side. So lucky us, we managed to get a development build of the new uh, road and we've had a little ride around on it. I went out yesterday and did a quick loop of the sugar cookie. And so that means I was starting the Mayan jungle heading out along the coast road towards the Fuego Flats. So the turn off to the new coast road is right at the bottom of the Mayan jungle. So it's in that boardwalky cave bit. You hang a right and then you head out towards the coast. And at that point, if you're running the Zwift Companion app, uh, it looks like you're riding off into the wilderness on no road at all. And then once you've turned more or less straight away, you're into the sandy coast part of the map. There's um, 
there's Mayan temples appearing a few hundred meters down the road and about 2k in you get to the first of four sprint sections on this new road which is called Stoneway Sprint. There aren't any KOM sections on the new road because in its 19 kilometers there really aren't any hills. It's a bit up and down at times but really it's effectively flat. You get about three kilometers of sandy coast, lots of uh, nice colorful Mayan temples, a lot of stonework and then you're out the other side to the Acropolis Sprint which is the second of the sprint sections. About seven kilometers into the new road, you'll head into a tunnel. And when you pop out of that tunnel, you'll be in Ciudad de la Cumbre, which is the second village on the map. It's difficult to know where future expansions and new roads will be in Watopia, but the way that this road is designed means that it does offer an option to go up the back of the epic KOM. And from the center of Ciudad de la Cumbre, you can see there's a road in the distance sort of heading up the hill. Maybe that's an expansion for another time. It's a very colourful little town with a Latin American vibe. And then you head into another tunnel out of the village and then you're into the forest. Past a sign for a Sasquatch and onto the Sasquatch Sprint. Both of which suggest you might see one of those knocking around, although I didn't see one when I was riding the map. The forest section is all very misty, a lot of pine needles on the road. Then you'll head out round a big lighthouse on a promontory and after that you're into a section of the forest where it's all burnt down and you're on a sandy road and that is where the fourth sprint section is that's the woodland sprint although at that point you're out of the woodland and in amongst some blackened stumps then at about 17 kilometers in you enter the last village on the road googie springs which is kind of a mixture of scandinavian uh, redwood houses and geodesic domes on stilts a bit of a funny mix there's a nice shipwreck in there as well to keep you interested at the end of googie springs you'll see in the distance the suspension bridge at the bottom of the epic kom and then there's a tunnel with some funky lights and before you know it you're spat out on the big roundabout at the end of fuego flats so there you go that's the new road 19 kilometers of new tarmac for you to enjoy if you're somebody that likes to ride around and enjoy the map and if you're somebody that likes to bag all the routes that are available then there's more for you to see and it's a very colourful and very enjoyable road to ride. It's not the most exciting in terms of terrain, so if you like to smash yourself up climbs, there's not really anything for you here. But what it does do is add another good link road between two parts of the map that weren't linked before, so that's good. There are some new routes to try. Swift hasn't added any really big loops, but that's a possibility, you know. We can have bigger Uber pretzels and bigger mega pretzels if we like, and I'm sure those will be coming in a later update. So it's not a major overhaul, it's an incremental change really, but it is one of the bigger updates to the Watopia map in recent times, and it does add 19K of new tarmac for you to ride. So go and ride it, enjoy it, and tell us what you think about it in the comments below. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, like and subscribe for more content from us on Road TC. Cheers.